ओम ज्ञान तिमरंदस्य ज्ञानंजन शलाकया चक्षुरुमृत तस्म श्री गुरव नम यद्भगवत प्रसाद यसाद न गति कतोपी धयाम स्तुवाम तस्ंद्यम वंदे गुरु श्री चरनाविंद गुरव गौरचंद्रा राधिकाय सदाल कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय तद भक्ताय नमो नम कालिंदी तन तटया स्फुरद मंद वृंदावन विहाय लवना बुदीन पुष्प पुष्पाटी गता दित अरुणा कपट सुपीत वास हरि तिरोहिद निज शवि श्री गौरंग श्रीमन रासर सारंबी वंशी वट तत स्थित कर्षण वेणु स्नेर गोपी गोपीनाथ श्री अस्था महाबोधे स्थिरे कनक रुचिर नील शिखरे वसन प्रसदात सहज बलभद्रे न बलिना सुभद्रा मध्यस्थ सकल सुर सेवा वसरदो जगन्नाथ स्वामी नयन पतगामी भवतुमे श्री जगन्नाथ स्वामी नयन पतगामी भवतुमे यम प्रवजंत मनुपेत पेत कृत्यम द्वैपान विरह कातुराजुवाह पुत्रे तन्मयतया सर्वो विने दुखम सर्वभूत हृदय मुनिमान तस्मी नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवें सरस्वती व्यास तथोजय मुदीर अहो भाग्यम अहो भाग्यम नंद गो व्रजाकुसम यन मित्र परमानंदम पूर्ण ब्रह्म सनातनम श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा सदि गौर भक्त वृंद बोलो हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे वेरी नाइस सो वी वर हियरिंग श्री जगन्नाथ रथ यात्रा एंड इन द मिडल ऑफ दैट वी हर्ड हेरा पंचमी द ग्लोरीज ऑफ हेरा पंचमी बट वी डिडंट कंप्लीटेड the chapter rath yatra i'm going to go back where i stopped earlier hearing the glories of shri chatane mahaprabhu dancing in front of uh, jagannath chariot but as i said yesterday we going to glorify shri guru dev guru parampara by hearing guru tatva from different devotees um, one every day <clears throat> because guru purnima is coming soon on 20th is appearance day of shila shrimad bhakti vigyan bharti goswami maharaj that's uh, shayan ekadashi very important chaturmasya start from some devotees and then 23rd is guru purnima and we start our chaturmasya on that day so there are there are so many devotees to speak on that's why i'm starting today from hearing from one devotee and then i will continue okay so first of all i request yadava govindava madava prabhu to speak guru tatva glory to guru dev some, some guru tatva some memories whatever last time your 
uh, your speech was marvelous. I think that was the best one because so much tattva was there. I like to hear tattva. I like to hear Siddhanta. Of course, when it comes to Guru Tattva, some memories and past times of Guru Dev also uh, give so much inspiration. So please unmute Kiyadva Prabhu. Try to speak loud. Oh yeah, you are already loud, so no problem. There's so many devotees here sitting, they also want to hear you. Hare Krishna Maharaj, Nandava Pranam. Hare Krishna. Magnum Miranda Sangyana Shalakaya, Chakshuru Militangena, Tasma Shri Gurave Namaha, Namam Vishnu Padaya, Radhi Kaya Priyamane, Shishimal Bhakti Vedanta, Narayana Iti Namine, Namam Vishnu Padaya, Acharya Simarupine, Shishima Bhatti Pragyana Keshava Iti Namine, Namam Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prestaya Bhutale, Srimate Bhatti Siddhanta Sarasvati Iti Namine, Vanchakalpa Tarubhyascha, Kripa Sindhubhya Evacha, Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namonama, Jairupa Sanatana Bhatta Ragunata, Sri Jiva Gopala Bhatta Dasa Ragunata, Jayashi Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadadara Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So time 10 to 15 minutes maximum What? Your time duration from 10 minutes to 15 minutes oh. Okay <laughs> First of all, I'd like to offer my humble obeisances unto the lotus feet of my Harinama Guru, Shishma Bhatti, Nitela Pravishnam Vishnu Pada, Sutrasate Shishma Bhatti, Vedanta, Arana Gosemaraj, and I pray for his calls as mercy. Then I offer my humble obeisances unto the lotus feet of my Siksha Gurus, Shishma Chira Bhatti, Svarupa, Shidara Maraj, Shira Bhatti, Vedanta, Siddhanti Maraj, who is present here, and Shira Bhatti, Tilang Niskin Chamaraj, and I pray for their calls as mercy. Then I offer my humble obeisances unto the all Vaishnava and Vaishnavis who are present there. Please give me your mercy. So, who is Sri Guru? In a song that we chant every morning from Srila Vishnashvati Thakur, it is written, Sakshadaritvena samasta shastrai uttastata bhavyata eva sadbi kintu praboriya priya eva tasya Vande Guru Sri Charanaravinna. It is stated that Sri Guru is non different from Bhagavan himself. But at the same time, Sri Guru is Kintu Praboria, Priyaeva Tasya, is a very dear most associate of Sri Bhagavan. So this is called Achinta Veda Veda Prakasha Vigraha, the simul inconceivable, simultaneously different and non different mani worshipable manifestation of the Lord. So, in regard of this uh, sloka, I'd like to share one pastime very briefly about uh, Srila Bhakti Saranga Gosai Maharaj. When uh, he was preaching with Srila Bhakti Prakash Rana Maharaj, at the time he was known as Shri Atulashana Prabhu, Bando Padiaya, they were uh, going home to home to uh, find new subscribers to the weekly Gudia magazine. And once, and in these magazines, they were published Shimabhatam installments with various pictures of Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhatti Nautakur, and other Acharyas and Vaishnavas. So once a man asked if this Bhagatam is not different, it is, it is stated that this is not different from Krishna himself. So why are you publishing the pictures of mortal beings? Hearing this, Srila Bhatti Prakash Arena Maharaj stayed silent for some reason. And uh, in this regard, Srila Tulashana Bhandu Padaya answered, it seems that you are not understand you are not understanding the um, the special characteristic of Granta Bhagata Shimabhatam, 
and also you are not full understanding the import of some or the some shlokas in the scriptures like uh, this shloka that I told before sakshat darit vena samasta shastra so uh, how can you understand that these people are not normal mortal beings but they are special associates of Sri Bhagavan himself and uh, thus he silent the person with this answer and after returning to Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhatti Prakash Maharaj uh, said this pastime and he was, uh, uh, he tears for, was flowing from Prabhupada's face saying, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has sent us a very dear associate of him. So, uh, Sri Guru, what is the meaning of Guru? Gushabdas Tvandarak, Gushabdas, Gushabdas ta andarakasya rushabdastan nirodakam andakara nirodatva guru itiabidiyate the word guru guru ru means who destroys and gu the darkness of our ignorance in our hearts and in also the ignorance in the material platform by uh, giving us the transcendental knowledge from the spiritual world in this regard shilabate bapuri gosemaraj state that guru is not like uh, there are many gurus for us, like who give us birth is our guru, who give us a help or a medicine in our gu is our guru. But the most elevated one is the one who, who is um, like uh, uh, bringing us to the transcendental platform. This is our most revered guru. And uh, why guru comes in this material platform? So since the jivas coming here are forgotten Bhagavan, he sent his dear more associates so that uh, they can, and also his most dear associate, which is she, the spiritual master, so he, uh, by following his guidance and instruction, we are able to come out from the mundane platform and go into the spiritual transcendental platform. Uh, so, um, what is this uh, transcendental knowledge that he is giving us? Divyan Gyana Yatoda Dyat. Kurya Papa sa Sankshayam, Tasmat Dikshati Saproktam, Desikai Tatva Kovidai. It is said the Guru gives us transcendental knowledge, Divyan Gyanam, and this knowledge is able also to, um, to destroy the seed of uh, um, the desire of sense gratification. So this is uh, what she Guru gives us. And also, Chakshudana Diloje. Jamne jamne prabhu se divya gyana ride prokashito. It is stated in this song, we, we chant very often, Guru Charana Padma, Oshana Tandastakur, that Guru, af, life after life, is our master and is giving us divya gyana, transcendental knowledge. So, um, there are many things to say about Guru and uh, how we can bestow us our like um, the mercy so um shiguru is bestowing us mercy by uh, following the etiquette and the principle in the scripture by behaving like a normal sadaka so he can teach us through his own example uh, but we should know that shiguru is not different from shri bhagavan as stated before that's why krishna says to uddhava in shima bhatam 11 canto uh, 17, um, so you should know that Acharya is not different from me. And not only that, you should never disrespect him, nor think, nor think that he is a normal human being. Namartya Buddha. So uh, by saying that, Krishna is stating that sometimes we can think, sometimes it's possible for us because we are conditioned souls to think that Guru is a, a normal human being. But we should never think that because it's a very dear associate of Shiva Gavan. And uh, he's teaching us Vaishnava etiquette, how to uh, chant Arinam and so many other things. And he's also giving us Diksha and Arinam, which are uh, our the two means and to which we can go to the spiritual world. So by chant Arinam with very great faith, so we can also um, obtain Krishna Prema. Why is Guru following um, the the like the, um, the instruction of Vedas? Because it is said, "Apane nakaile dharma si kananayaya, eta siddhanta gita bhagavate gaya." If one does not follow 
what he's going to teach. He cannot teach. It's not possible for him. So we should, to teach devotional service, we should follow devotional service. It is stated in scriptures like Shema Bhagavad Gita and Shema Bhattam. So uh, what is someone, who is someone who is following the scripture? Who, how is it called? It is called Acharya. So what is the meaning of Acharya? Achinotiya sastrartam achare stapayati api svayam acharati yasma acharya stena kirtita. Acharya is someone who is no, who knows the import of the scripture, who is by words and conduct following that, and is also establishing that in others. This is why he is renowned as Acharya. So uh, there are three types of guru: Diksha, Siksha, and Chaitya Guru. The Diksha Guru. It is stated in uh, Chaitanya Shtameta Dilila 145. Who is he? Guru Krishna Rupa Hana Sastrera Pramane. Guru Rupa Krishna Kripa Karena Bhaktagane. Guru is the form of Krishna, Krishna, Krishna Rupa. And by true Guru, through the form of Guru, Krishna bestows mercy upon his devotees. And also Siksha Guru, it is stated in Adilila 147. Siksha Guru Keta Jani. Krishna Rasva Rupa, Antaryami Bhakta Shesta e Dui Rupa. So, Siksha Guru instead is the Svarupa, personality of Krishna, and is also Antaryami Bhakta Shesta. Antaryami is the super soul within our hearts, and Bhakta Shesta is the, also in devotee, in external, in, in a form uh, outside of us. So, in these two forms, Krishna bestows mercy. And uh, Diksha Guru is the Guru that gives us Diksha. Transcendental knowledge. There can, only, there can only be only one Diksha Guru. But there are many Siksha Gurus. And also sometimes Diksha Guru can, can or uh, sometimes if it's not perfect, one can go to the Siksha Guru. Because also if some Diksha Guru leave the planets, how can we go through? Uh, how can, it, can we continue to perform Bhakti in the proper way if we don't know? We should follow a Siksha Guru. Siksha Guru is giving Siksha instruction to us so that we can continue our, our practice of Bhakti. And uh, also there is Chaitya Guru. A Chaitya Guru, it is known as uh, the Guru who is uh, uh, inside our heart. In uh, Svetas Vatar Upanishad 4.6, it is stated, Vasuparna Sayuja Sakaya Samanam Vriksha Paris Paris Asvajate Tayor Anya Pipalans Vadati Anasna Anya Bichak Kashiti so there are two birds in one tree and one is enjoying the fruits of this bird people tree the other is just watching this is the super soul just watching us what we are doing so uh, how can we recognize if someone is a bona fide guru there are many shlokas that tell us this since guru is uh, on a transcendental platform sometimes someone may act like a guru but is not it is difficult for us to recognize so the Shastra are, are coming to our house in this in this regard, and this is stated in Shima Bhata 11.3.21. Tasma Gurum Prapadieta Jigya Shushreya Uttamam Shabde Parecha Nishnatam Brahma Nupasama Shreya. So the Guru is the um, he knows all the import of the scripture. He has realization of that. He also has realization of Krishna, Krishna Tattva, Jiva Tattva, Maya Tattva. He knows them. All Vedas, Upanishads, Puranas, everything is written in Shruti. And it's also completely detached from the material world. So there is nothing that can hold uh, the is attached up beside Bhagavan his devotees. And uh, also he, ca he can control his uh, urges. Bacho vegam mana chakra da vegam, jiva vegam udaropasta vegam, etam vegam yo vishaheta dira sarvam apimam pritivin shashisyad. So he can control the urge to speak, the require of the minds, his anger, his tongue, the belly and the genitals. He can make disciple in all world. So, uh, but how a disciple can uh, behave with a guru? Shilabhati Siddhanta Svati Thakur Prabhupada said that one disciple should know that his guru is the, his well-wisher. Shri Bhagavan has appointed Shri Guru just for our well-being. So we should think that whatever Shri Guru is telling to us, we should follow that because it's for our well-being. In this regard, Maharaj has told us recently the story of how Ishvara Puripada gave the same order to two different disciples, but one of them followed according to his mind. Another one, Govinda Prabhu, followed like strictly, like the word, exactly what he said. 
Kashish Varapandi thought, I want to go to the pilgrimage pace before serving Mahaprabhu, but this was not correct. He was applying his mental speculation to the order of Shiguru, while uh, Govinda Prabhu went directly to serve Mahaprabhu. So he, he got more intimate service to Mahaprabhu because of that. But this does not mean that whenever Guru is speaking to us, if we are not understanding, we should not apply our intelligence. In this regard, Maharaj told us the past time of Sri Param Guru Deshila Bhatti Pragyan Kesha Gose Maharaj. When he was in the Mata, still a Brahmachari, he received a letter from his mother saying that he, he, can, he, he had to come home because he was leaving this planet. But uh, when Srila Prabhupada ordered him to do so, he went in, one mat, in the corner of, one mat, of the mat and did not went. Why is that? When Srila Prabhupada called him to come back, uh, he said that he disobeyed his order because he was following a superior order, which was the order we get mother and father in, mother and father in each and every life. But we is very rare to attain guru. To attain guru. So if we had, if he had to come back with, to his mother, being very compassionate, she would have asked, "Oh, take care of my property, please." And he he was not able to say no in that regard. So he would have been stuck in the material life once again. So he said, "Have I behaved good?" And Shri Prabhupada has nothing more to say. Yes, very nice. So these are transcendental personalities. We should not imitate. We should only try to follow at our best. And if we don't understand, we can ask our Gurudev also what to do. We don't know. We don't have to be like uh, Gurudev is asking for a glass of water and we should think, oh, but it would be warm, cold with this side of glass or this side. We should not be like this mental speculation, but we should still try to uh, apply our intelligence. What is Guru? What does my Guru want? We should try to know his heart. So uh, there is also some pastime which I experienced with my Siksha Gurus and um, like uh, sometimes a Guru destroy our, our pride. And uh, I experienced that several times with uh, Shripa Bhattis Rushi Dharmaraj well, because... Uh, what? I said you're 15 minutes over. Okay, sorry, sorry, Maharaj. <laughs> we will hear again next time. Okay. You delivered the whole Italy. <laughs> Very nice. <clears throat> we all liked your speech on Guru Tattva. I didn't say Shikashishwar Pandit as his mental speculation. When we are addressing associates of Mahaprabhu, they all are they all are to be addressed with so much respect and reverence. Mahaprabhu is showing ideal example to his associates. Srila Bharati Goswami Maharaj used to say that both disciples heard this order, but Kashishu Pandit, he thought, since I'm going to Mahaprabhu, on the way I'll have darshan of places of pilgrimage, only this much. So therefore he got delayed coming to Mahaprabhu. Whereas Sri Govind Prabhu immediately Without any other consideration, he came to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And that's why he got direct service of Mahaprabhu. Whereas Sri Kashesha Pandit, he also got some save of Mahaprabhu, but that was external to guard Mahaprabhu from people coming and disturbing his mood. Only this is a difference, which is a big difference. But all glories to all associates of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Even Mahaprabhu rejected Chhota Aridas. But did, did he totally rejected him? Sri Chhota Aridas used to sing. And Mahaprabhu, especially in nights, he used to sing, uh, sing sorry, he used to hear the singing of Chhota Aridas Thakur. The rejection is there to establish some principle in the society. But he didn't 
rejected him from his heart guru never rejects disciple if there is any rejection that is to establish some principle but it's very hard for gurudev to reject anyone always accepting and tolerating shila gurudev avar shila gurudev was so compassionate he used to say where will he go if i reject him it is so difficult to bring someone from the clutches of maya and if i reject him where will he go so always being compassion compassionate which is not meant to be taking advantage of that compassion but is always forgiving our mistakes and that's why we glorify him that you are more compassionate than krishna the mercy of guru the mercy of krishna follows the mercy of guru krishna kripa bhakt kripa anugamani the mercy of krishna follows the mercy of guru dev therefore we pray agyan timiran dasse ज्ञानंजन शलाकया चक्षुर्मलित तस्म श्री गुरुभे नम अज्ञातिर वन मीन्स शील गुरुदेव विद अ टॉर्च लाइट ऑफ नॉलेज डिसिपेट द डार्कनेस मीन्स दैट इग्नोरेंस फ्रॉम डिसाइपल्स हार्ट all glories to that shri gurudev vande guru shri charanar vindam but what is that darkness what is that agyan what is that ignorance for the next speakers not down in chetra chetamit kaviraj goswami explains the definition of agyan अज्ञान तमेर नाम कहि कैतव भुक्ति मुक्ति वांचा आदि एही सब तार मध्ये मोक्ष वांचा कैतव प्रधान जा होइले कृष्ण भक्ती हे अंतर ज्ञान व्हाट इज दैट इग्नोरेंस अज्ञान इग्नोरेंस व्हिच गुरुदेव ही रिमूव्स और ही डिस्ट्रॉयस व्हाट इज दैट दिस इज this comes under the process of diksha just by chanting mantra in the ears is diksha completed no that's the beginning of diksha diksha get diksha get completes when one receives vastu siddhi when disciple gets the service of krishna under guidance of lalita sakhi and from that universe krishna takes the disciple to golok vrindavan <coughs> then diksha is complete so how many births it takes to complete the process of diksha receiving mantra that's the beginning That's the beginning part, and that's why it is divided into two sections: anushthanik and mantramai upasana. Anushthanik means anushthan, means a ceremony. Oh, I was inside Guru Dev room. He chanted mantra. I felt very good, and then later yagya happened. Then I went out, asked bhiksha from devotees. i offered those viksha to gurudev and there was feast mahaprasad diksha complete that's called anushthan a ceremony a beginning of ceremony just like a boy and girl take uh, they get married a priest chanting mantra 
<coughs> fire yagya and they go around seven times is that marriage is is the marriage complete that's the beginning of marriage this that's why this is called anushthan just mere a ceremony to begin the process so begin the process is easy also not easy but we say is easy but the completion of the process it takes many births shila gurudev once told once told even if it takes 30 or 50 or 60 births <clears throat> take this as the mercy of guru and mahaprabhu it happened very soon 50 60 births to complete the process serving gurudev with whole heart serving one senses one mind soul possessions everything as bhagavatam says eta deva sashishya कर्तव्य गुरु निष्कृतम यद वे विशुद्ध भावेना सर्व आर्थ अर्पणम गुरु इलावन कैन टू भागवतम कृष्ण इज स्पीकिंग टू उद्धव हु इज आइडियल डिसाइपल इताद एव सशिष्य बोनोफाइड डिसाइपल वन हु कर्तव्य गुरु निष्कृतम यद वे विशुद्ध भावेना with pure consciousness serves one's gurudev as considering him as his life and soul and offering everything to him offering everything means offering one's words in glorification of gurudev ebayaj bhushuk tribhuvana may your glory spread in three worlds or your glories are there in three worlds with words with body with mind and also possessions krishna singh i'm not saying yad vai vishud bhavena sarva arth arpanam guru gurudev i can offer myself to you what is the need of why you said possessions krishna said possessions why because as we are attached to our body we are also attached to our possessions and when possessions are in the pocket there is always a chance to get deviate from our object of worship when there is money then there we have so many so many thoughts i can use this this way i can use in that way i can use in that way that means more and more more and more more and more entanglements when there is no money there is no entanglement just one focus so offering the possessions to gurudev for some good cause so what is agyan then i mean sorry so the process of initiation diksha which he said define that divya gyan yado dadat purjasya pap sakshayam gurudev gives diksha means what is that mantras just five six mantras and diksha complete <laughs> is it that simple that's only anushthan a ceremony but coming in that process of adoshada sadhu sang bhajan kriya anarth nivritti nishtha ruchi asakti bhav prem to attain that stage and getting rid of all those anarthas hmm? 
then the process of initiation completes. But in that process, all those agyan, which a sadhaka always carries, always there is agyan, gross and subtle. Agyan means ignorance, which comes in gross and subtle way. It's easy to destroy that gross ignorance, like. Oh, Gurudev, I cannot get up early in the morning for Mangal Art. It's so hard for me. I can do whatever you want to say. Whatever you want from me, I can follow everything, but please don't order me to get up Mangal Art. That's gross ignorance. But then there is subtle ignorance, which is deep rooted in the heart. What are those? Agyan tamer naam kahi kaitav means duplicity. Bhukti mukti adi isa. The desire to enjoy material world. Again, that is gross and subtle. More we go deep into the philosophy. We go more subtle to that. Oh, Gurudev, I don't want to. I don't want to live opulent life. I'm rejecting that opulence and offering everything to you. But I want to live secluded life in seclusion. The journey from gross sense gratification to subtle sense gratification. Why you want seclusion? No, Guru, that because I just want to get absorbed in bhajan. In Shila Bhakti Siddhan, Prabhupada is saying this seclusion means cheating. Nirjan bhajan is again. A sense gratification because then I'll get famous. He is real sadhu or she is real sadhu. How glorious is he or she day and night chanting in seclusion? So it's so deep rooted. Everything we want to enjoy, even speaking Hari Katha, we want to enjoy. Not for the sake of serving the Lord, but for the sake of getting adoration, just enjoyment. Even renunciation. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, My purpose of accepting renounce orders and niyas is what? Mahaprabhu always used to utter this verse, 11 Kanto. The Tatreji says, Abdut. Mukunda Seva Angri to serve the senses of Mukunda Krishna, not to get famous or to get worship from everyone or to get service from everyone. My mood is to serve Mukunda, and this ashram is favorable for me, that's why I accepted this ashram. The purpose is to serve Krishna. Whereas Mahaprabhu also saying, Na prem gandha asti durape I don't even have a tinge of prem in me. Kandrami so bhagyam prakashitam. Whatever tears you see in my eyes, sometimes this is just a show up. Mahaprabhu is saying this. Because I am not able to see the Lord of my life, Krishna. So everything has gross and subtle meanings. And there is gross and subtle enjoyments. 
there is gross and subtle ignorance and also there is gross and subtle philosophy gross and subtle maturity it's not that simple desire to enjoy the world it takes many forms and then desire to get liberation this also has many form liberation mukti means atyant dukh nivritti or brahm sayuchya because one get so much bliss in that i want to get rid of all sufferings atyanta dukh nivritti so that's why i am approaching you oh krishna help me oh did ever prahlad maharaj say please remove my sufferings if pandav ever said krishna what you doing with us you are always with us why we have to move in forest for so many years 12 years in forest we don't want to suffer did he ever did they ever said did ever balan mara said remove my sufferings did gopis ever complain krishna can't you just make everything favorable why we have to hide and come to you we getting so much criticized kutil is always kutil swabhav always on the case of radha rani and calling her unchaste woman of braj did she ever wanted this to hear glorification and there are so many examples like what's the bhakti thakur is teaching us these teachings of acharyas is termed as diksha there's why there is gross level of understanding and there is subtle level of understanding not everyone get along with the subtle the subtleties of understanding and philosophy because there is no capability the patra means the qualification is not there <laughs> how to gain that qualification rub rub the feet of acharyas means serve them then internally the maturity comes external form will remain same it's not that two horns will come up say or one antenna grows and say oh he is now getting mature because one the shikha is going up <laughs> there's a internal process which cannot be described or explained there's an internal process more one can go deep dive into that subtleties more one acquire what maturity shila bhakti aur thakur is giving diksha to us every single day you ready to accept that shinarottam thakur giving diksha every day are we ready to accept that ha huh? diksha every day it happened 20 years back gurudev gave me mantras ceremony was there yagya was there no baba every day 
Anottam Thakur is giving Diksha. Anottam Thakur is giving Diksha. Those bhajans of Anottam Thakur and Anottam Thakur are mantras. Just like other day, if you remember at all, when Shri Bhakti Thakur composed this bhajan, the composition of bhajan is not to complete the sentence. The poetry should end up with the same words. Just for example, uh, we, uh, we sing Shri Prabhupada Ashtakam every morning. Written by Shishiman Bhakti Raksha Shridhar Gosai Maharaj. You see, the beauty of that is when it ends with that word, it begins with the same alphabet. Sujana Ruta Pa Pada Yugam Yuga Dharma Dhurandara Patra Varam Varadavaya Daya Kapuja Padam Pranamami Sada Prabhu Pada Padam Bhajano Jita Sajana Sangha Pati Pati with P and begins with P. Understand? Mm -hmm. So that's the scholar. That's the beauty. So the composition is like this, like Chaitanya Chaitanya Amrit. Just one. Subhadra Balaramir Hide Ullas Nirte Dekhi Dui Janir Shri Mukhete Has. So when it ends up with Ullas, uh, the first sentence ends up with ullas. The second sentence also have to end with the same. What do you say? Sound. Same. Same sound. Yeah. Complete Chaitanya Chaitamrit is like this. That's why his name is Krishnadas Kavi Raj. Kavi Raj means king of poets. the best and king of all poets. And that's the nature of all Acharyas. They are poets. Udanda Nitte Prabhur Adbhut Vikar Ashta Sattvika Bhav Ude Hai Samkal See, poet. Srila Bhakti Thakur, those bhajans of Bhakti Thakur is it's not that he just composed that so that we can sing this, but that composition of bhajans have some past times behind it. I don't know if I said here or I said in Houston, I don't remember. When he's writing, Krishna se to mar, Krishna di te paro, to shakar. Amito Kanga Krishna Krishna Boli Dhaita Vapache Pache Dhaita Vapache Pache Shilavakta Thakur wrote. What, is, what was it in meditation when he wrote this? And we all know the meaning, right? Krishna is yours. Krishna is your wealth and I'm beggar. I'm running after you to get Krishna. And you can give Krishna. Srila Bhakti Thakur was meditating the pastime from Mahabharata. Did I say this here? That was in Hindustan. He was meditating on the pastime of Mahabharata. When after Mahabharata Battle of Mahabharata over, uh, uh, Yudhishthir Maharaj lamenting so much. Because of me, this happened. Because of me, I'm the cause of so many killings. And he's weeping and morose and lamenting so much. Krishna's tried to pacify him. No, Yudhishthir, you're not the cause. That was Dharma Yudha. The battle of Dharma. You're not, believe me. For Yudhishthir Maharaj is Dharma Raj. Say, no, Krishna, I'm the one, I'm the one. 
there's the nature of devotee i am the cause of everyone suffering taking everything on his head krishna thought oh he will not understand my words let him let me take him to a pure devotee one of the mahajans and krishna took him to bhishma who was lying on the bed of arrows his whole body was wounded blood was coming from every wound and he was suffering there because he was waiting for krishna to come i think two months he was on bed of arrows he is waiting for krishna to come to leave his body and then long story short <clears throat> yudhishthir maharaj came forward ask forgiveness who oh, grand sire bhishma this is happening because of me i am the cause of your suffering if it is possible please excuse me forgive me o oh, bhishma pitamah bhishma smiling this said no yudhishthir it's not because of you every jiva goes through the reaction of one's karma and always remember this this is i'm giving you i'm giving you one very very important knowledge that's called diksha transcendental knowledge one tip that no one is a cause of someone's no one is a cause of one's happiness or suffering every individual is a cause of his own happiness and own suffering and you just stay always remember this bishma told then when bishma saw arjun then bishma said hey arjun krishna became your driver who can be more near and dear then you to krishna he massage your horse's legs he used to take care of your horses krishna dress you as your sakha a sakha means your friend and you address krishna as friend you both used to sleep together and eat together krishna is your wealth arjun and you see i'm swagger krishna is not mine krishna is yours i beg you arjun can you also give me krishna i literally beg you please give me krishna right in front of krishna you bishma is speaking these words to arjun shila bhakti thakur has this meditation and then he composed this krishna se tomar krishna dite paro tomar shakti aaj krishna is yours oh vishnu thakur bishma is not less is one of the mahajans but arjun is very dear to krishna krishna toem arjun you are very dear to me priyasmi hi you are very dear to me so bishma is in a mood of humility and huh, is begging krishna from arjun because only they can give krishna so every day shila bhakti thakur is giving initiation and every day narottam thakur is giving initiation okay simple example parents gives birth to children there's a, a, a cross understanding but subtle is parents give birth to children every single day what is parenting about serving so, serving nourishing children they giving birth every single day knowledge making them understand and many other factors similarly we receive that initiation every single day if we are serious and we want to accept that and for that there is no ceremony is required if you want to love someone 
in your heart, no ceremony is required. Meera, she in love with Krishna. But when she got married with King, there was a ceremony. But when she started loving Krishna, was there any ceremony? Gopis married to Gopas with ceremony. Radharani married to Abhimanyu, Ayan Ghosh. There was ceremony. And Shri Gurudev explained, because Krishna was cousin of Abhimanyu, Krishna came and sat on the lap of Abhimanyu and took his all purshad, his all, what do you call that? Huh? No. No. Purushat means his manly uh, oh, it's, uh, manly mood. Purusha? His features. Not features. Uh, his strength. And Abhimanyu was without strength. Uh, during the ceremony? Yes. During the ceremony, Krishna came and sat on his lap. And Krishna took every, that's Gurudev, commentary. He took his manly strength and Arjuna left with no man's strength. And that's the reason why Abhimanyu never even coming to close to Radharani. He's feeling shy because there is no strength. You understand what I want to say? Yeah. Never wants uh, coming to Radharani. Anyway, that's another topic. But that was ceremony, marriage. But when Radharani started loving Krishna, not starting means she loves Krishna. No ceremony required, required there. And loving Krishna means day and night remembering Krishna. And remembering Krishna means meditating on how to please Krishna. This is the duty of disciple about. <laughs> what shall I do to please my Gurudev? That's Kinkari Bhav, that's Manjari Bhav. Kim Karom Meham, Kim Karom Meham. Shri Madhavinda Guri Bhav said this, right? Kim Karom Meham, what shall I do? That's Kinkari Bhav. So disciple meditating on Gurudev means just meditating on the form of Gurudev. Yeah, he has blue eyes. And we spoke on, in Badger about this. We are describing the glories of Gurudev. That's too deep and too subtle. Don't just restrict the glories of Gurudev by saying, oh, he used to like eat pakoras. His eyes were so blue. Doesn't matter if eyes blue or red or brown. <laughs> That's not the complete glories of Guru Tattva. The gravity of Gurudev Bhajan, the gravity of Gurudev services for his Guru Parampara, the dedication of Gurudev for his Guru Parampara. And the contribution of Gurudev, this makes complete the glories of Guru Tattva. And I'm not saying this. Once upon a time, Gurudev told this to one of sannyas. Don't restrict the glories of Prabhupada just by saying, oh, he used to smile like this, he used to eat like this. That's, that's just outline. Okay, what if our Gurudev eyes would have been brown? Then it's not bona fide Guru? <laughs> that doesn't matter. That's just outline. And to go deep into understanding what his contribution to the entire world and what his contribution to me is a very, very detail 
subtle and deep tattva so meditating on guru dev is not just mere meditating on his figure which is also auspicious i'm not i'm not saying that when we chant guru mantra we should meditate on our guru dev but how our guru vargas what our guru vargas were meditating on that's why in the beginning i said everything has a gross and subtle meaning and don't take otherwise that i'm not saying we should not meditate on the form of guru dev that his that is his mahaprabhu associate form but more than that is what like i met one devotee he said he used to chant a lot i said what you meditate on chant he said when i go to jagannath puri i meditate on siddh gokul siddh gokul is a place where shila haridas thakur sitting under that tree bakul tree he used to chant 300000 names every day so i meditate on that which is fair which is good but there is another meditation above that meditate on shila haridas thakur dedication to hari naam how he was chanting and begging for his mercy so that i can also chant 300000 names oh haridas thakur give me that taste so that i can chant that 300000 names also like you that's meditation meditation on meditating on gurudev meditating on what how to please you how i can surrender to you this is something we have to meditate on while chanting guru mantra and in that meditation automatically the prayer comes make me qualify to serve you to understand you first of all and then serve you meditating on the service this is the word dhimahi when we chant the gayatri in guru gayatri also dhimahi in gaur gayatri also dhimahi in kaam gayatri also dhimahi and for the mail section brahm gayatri also dhimahi dhimahi means dhyanam meditation dhyanam on what meditating on what not something artificial there is a commentary of shila bhakti raksha shida gosai mahal dhimahi means <coughs> not just closing eyes mere meditation dhimahi means anukulena krishna nu shilanam meditating on the service serving with favorable mood guru gayatri service to gurudev gaur gayatri service to mahaprabhu kaam gayatri he mahi means anukulena anushilanam serving that is what is meditation about and shila gurudev's and shila prabhupads all our acharyas my guru maharaj what was the object of their meditation what day and night they are meditating on just the form of shila prabhupad the mission of shila prabhupad that's the meditation about and that's what we chant morning and evening two times meditating on that but we don't even meditate while chanting mantras <laughs> the mind goes in 100000 directions but this is what meditation about morning and evening chanting mantra meditating on kim karom me what shall i do to serve my gurudev the entire guru parampara and if we meditate on this seriously we can't waste our time there's no time to waste it. this is that's called sincere meditation so therefore we are receiving diksha every single day 
and we are following the process of diksha every single day finally after serving and serving and serving and serving with pure consciousness and then adding on a flavor of krishna consciousness in that pure consciousness then comes to the point of complete diksha so guru tatva is very deep the word guru itself means heavy but who is very heavy and so interesting the word guru it means heavy but there can be no one as subtle as guru understand so any object which is heavy how that object can be subtle but the glory of guru tatva is guru means heavy in knowledge heavy in realization heavy in everything but so much subtleties are there in that heaviness so guru gurudev glories are not only restricted as my guru maharaj said there are 100000 glories of shila bhakti siddhan prabhupada that he defeated that scholar he defeated brahmins he defeated the head of the department of astrology he refuted so many people the philosophies he established 64 centers he revealing his opulence which is all true and these are glories of shila prabhupada he born with a brahman thread the marks of brahman thread the chariot of lord jagannath stopped for 3 days to see shila prabhupada bimla prasad got hari naam from bhakti nath thakur got diksha from baba ji maharaj all this comes under the glories yes or no yes of course without a single doubt so and so that his disciple died he committed some wrongs he died and yamraj took him means yamdutas took him to yamraj and when account when they were checking account they said only he did one good act many good act but he also his disciple of bhakti sidan prabhupad uh, yamraj immediately released him take him back take him back that's in the history of prabhupad the name is also mentioned there yamraj was dharmraj one of the mahajans hearing the name of shila bhakti sidan prabhupad immediately released him take him back is not worthy of punishment that's why krishna said bhagavad gita api che sudura charo bhajte mam ananya bhag sadhu reva samantavya samyak vyastuti hi sah krishna spoke to arjun saying devotee one pointed worshiping me if he perform any abominable act still consider him a sadhu no krishna i can't digest this krishna said you are not afraid of my anger i am saying this i am i am the authority you are not the authority very bold you read gurudev bhagavad gita the commentary of vishnu chakra thakur vishnu chakra thakur saying i am saying this i am the authority because he is my devotee and for this reason they took shila bhakti nath thakur from this planet earth in swarga where demigods are confused how to reconcile this that's why say muyanti yasure the words of bhagavatam the words of krishna bewildered demigods 
they were not able to reconcile they said no one how and shila bhakti thakur he reconciled this say here what the next verse says shipram bhavati dharmatma samvanshasya chindanti konteha prati jani hi name bhakt pranashati shipram bhavati dharmatma immediately that person will become dharmatma means righteous this point was confusing for demigods even including yamraj and naraji was sitting there and they want to have reconciliation with shri bhakti thakur shri bhakti thakur then said what krishna wanted to say is arjun announce my devotee never perish no prabhu you announce and krishna said no arjun you announce because i want you i want you to make you dharmatma if you announce this you will become dharmatma and anyone who announces this and obey my order that person will become righteous dharmatma this is a subtle meaning who brought up this shila bhakti raksha shida gosai maharaj so yamraj ji confused what i was saying amit शिला प्रभुपा Yes, that Jamraj immediately sent the disciple back. He is not worthy of punishment. So Guru Maharaj saying, no doubt, all these are glories of Shri Prabhupada, which are true. But this is one side of Prabhupada, his offerings. Another part is Shiva Shabhanavi Dayat Das. is very near and dear is nan mani manjari a maid servant of radha rani when this is present and all other accomplishments or all other opulence get but diminish in comparison with that i don't know how many of you understanding this as gurudev said once you may add so many titles in front in the, in the name of your gurudev my gurudev is om vishnu pad 108 1008 10008 1008 and parivaraja ka acharya astotra shat so much gurudev said all these titles keep them one side and other title is just saying nitty lila pravishth that's it this cannot be any more big title than this that my gurudev my vaishnav they entered into nitty lila bas that's it all others are secondary my gurudev is scholar my gurudev is pandit you know my gurudev he had 5000 disciples his great guru his jagat guru acharya acha how many disciple baba ji maharaj had shri gaur krishna baba ji maharaj just one disciple hmm, then he is not acharya he is less but bhakti sidan prabhupad thakur he has so many disciples he is superior than gorkishwar babu is it true shri bhakti sidan prabhupad 
Thakur, who had thousands of disciples, he said, if I, in my lifetime, can get one dust from the lotus leaf, uh, feet of my Gurudev, I will consider my life a successful. Shri Prabhupada drinking Charnamrit of his Guru Maharaj, who only had one disciple. You know, my Guru, they have 100 head centers around the world. Then he's great Acharya. How many centers Bhakti Mata Guru had? Rupa Goswami. Gaur Krishna Bhavaji Maharaj. Is this is the consideration. These are all gross. These are all gross thoughts. It doesn't matter how many centers Guru Dev had, how many disciples Guru Dev had, or he can speak English, or he can't speak English, he speaks Spanish, or Hindi, or Sanskrit, whatever it is. All gross. There's something more deep than that. So that's why Diksha starts with first understanding those certainties in the glories of my Gurudev. And one, when one understands this, then one cannot stop one fears, saying, what have you given to me? Kripa bindu diya paro e da se tena pe khaati hi Gurudev, Kripa bindu diya Just one drop So we will continue tomorrow I, I was about to read Rath Yatra but let's see maybe tomorrow. Can you be ready? I can ask anyone to speak to me. Be ready with Guru Tattva. Hare Krishna. Guru Deva Ki.